Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to make a really simple homemade Valentine's Day card. So to begin with, let's talk through what we have here. I have some red paper, a 6 inch card blank, a sentiment stamp on an acrylic block. I also have a heart shaped die, but if you don't have dies you can use scissors or a craft knife some paints and a paint palette, some toilet roll tubes, an ink pad and a hot glue gun. So to begin we're going to make a heart shaped stamp. So take the toilet roll and squash it down flat. Then reinforce the folds that you've made just by pressing on them firmly. So what we need to do is just encourage one of the folds that we've made down into the center of the toilet roll and you'll start to see a heart shape form. Just do it gently so that the curves are nice and smooth and not angular. Don't worry if it's not perfect because you want it to look unique and you can always manipulate the cardboard as you work. Once you're happy with the shape that you have for your stamp, you can start to glue the roll together. So just place your adhesive on the inside of the fold and then all you have to do is just hold the heart shape together until your adhesive has dried. And you can continue to manipulate your cardboard as the glue is drying. Now that we've made our cardboard stamps, we're ready for the next step. So we're going to need our red piece of paper, which I have cut to be a quarter of an inch shorter on two sides than my card blank. That's to give a nice thin white border around the edge of our card when it's finished. It makes things look a little bit more professional. So I've marked the top of my card blank and on the back of my piece of red paper, I've gently written with a pencil where the top is because I'm going to do a directional print with my heart stamps. The paint that I'm using is some inexpensive watercolour paint from a well-known discount bookstore but you can use whatever paint you have to hand. To decorate the piece of paper just gently dip the cardboard stamp into your paint Remember that less is more with this technique and before you start stamping just check that you are using your piece of paper the right way up. Then just begin to stamp hearts wherever you wish all over the surface of your paper. Change colour when you're ready to do so and continue stamping your hearts on your piece of paper. Stamping over the edge of the piece of paper is absolutely fine and it makes the finished result look more polished. So after a final colour change, your design will be finished. All you need to do is leave it to one side to dry and then you'll be ready for the next stage. Now you want to make sure that your surface is nice and clean and you haven't got any wet paint on your hands because we're going to prepare our card base. So I've got a sentiment stamp that says with love and a little black ink pad. I haven't used this stamp before so I've got an eraser here and I'm just going to rub the eraser over the surface of my stamp because when they're produced sometimes there's some residue left behind and it means that the first stamp you do isn't always as clear as you would like it to be. So once you've rubbed over the surface of your stamp, just take away any flakes from the eraser and you're ready to go. So I want to put my sentiment roughly in the middle of my card blank, which is just under six inches square. So I'm going to use the lines on my cutting mat to help me measure roughly the centre. So each of my lines is an inch apart. So I want to be three lines up and three lines in. Then I'm going to take my ink pad and gently tap it over the surface of the stamp, making sure that the whole stamp is covered. Once you're happy with the position you want your sentiment in, 
just gently press the stamp down onto the surface of the card and just put some gentle pressure evenly over the stamp surface. If you're not that confident with stamping, you can always use a stamping press. So I'll leave this to one side and we can return to our red piece of paper. We're going to cut a heart shape into the center of our red piece of paper. I'm going to use a die, but if you don't have dies, you can use a craft knife or a pair of scissors to achieve the same thing. So I'm turning the paper over onto the other side. So I'll be cutting from the back to the front. And I can see I've still got the word top marked on my paper so I know it's the right way up. Just place my die on my cutting platform and when I'm happy I'm going to stick down the die with some low tack tape or some washi tape to make sure it doesn't move while the plates are moving through my die cutting machine. So I've placed the rest of the cutting plates over the top of my die and now I'm going to pass the plates through my die cutting machine. Now the heart shape's been cut out, we can put the whole card together and you can see the sentiment's going to come through the middle of that heart shape in the red paper. I'm going to use double sided tape to stick my paper down but you can use whatever you wish. So I'm going to put the tape on all four sides of my paper just so that I don't get any lifting. So now we just lift one small corner on each of the pieces of our tape and position the heart over the centre of the sentiment making sure we have a nice even white border around the edge. Once you're happy with your positioning you can peel the backing out of the tape underneath the red paper. If you enjoyed this video remember to let us know in the comments, like and subscribe to our channel and if you make any cards based on our tutorials please send us some pictures to our social media channels which are linked in the description box below. I'll see you again next time.